Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. Picking up here on a completely white out foggy day. This is the morning of April 21st. Just gonna tuck into some rice here. In between episodes I made a bunch of food. Some of which is in the fridge here. Some of which is in the freezer. I got stir fries, I got uh, our first burger. It's a veggie burger because uh, I didn't have any meat uh, to put in there. Um, got some roasted vegetables here. I got some frozen breads for some future sandwiches or burgers. And down in our bedroom, I've got some more food. I've already gone and eaten quite a bit of the food I cooked, but uh, yeah, I made a lot of food. Got a couple salads down here and some pasta. May not look like a lot now, um, but uh, that freezer does have quite a bit of prepared meals for us, which should last us uh, hopefully the next week or so. In our freezer, just get you caught up here, uh, I did harvest some more tomatoes. So we've got another 16 tomatoes in here for a total of 42. We got 16 potatoes. I did plant some more potatoes. So uh, by the time these run out, we should have another crop coming in. Got a lot of carrots here, 45. Have not had any luck though out at the traps catching any rabbits. So I might have to move those traps a little bit further away. We'll do some experimenting with that. And then uh, a little low on cabbage and broccoli as well. Lots of frozen berries, though, uh, for fruit salads. We are very close to getting our weight up to 75. We're so close with 74 and gaining weight. So finally, we're, we're going to be uh, um, at a normal uh, weight. I think between 75 and 85 is kind of uh, a normal weight. Uh, we are now at 3 months, 10 days, 23 hours survived, continuing our longest run in build 41. 881 kills. Favorite weapon has now become the hand axe. Okay, and I did also flip over to our skills. I did read our metalworking for intermediates book. So we can finally go and do that uh, metalworking disassembly, which is what we're going to do today. Uh, we have survived our, uh, I can't remember what scratch or what laceration number we're on, but we did survive another laceration. Let's go ahead and remove this bandage, see if it's healed up. And it has healed up. So, good news all around. Okay, so we need our propane torch and our welder's mask. Let's grab those two things. Uh, one thing I noticed from switching over to the uh, firefighter gear from the uh, military gear, it seems to be a little bit lighter. Something I didn't expect. I guess it's because we're not carrying as quite as many clothing. I am wearing a riding helmet. Uh, it just doesn't have any insulation. And just trying to counteract all the uh, extra insulation we've got from our firefighter gear here. So, I don't know. It's very foggy out there. This may not be the best time to go out. Um, you know what? Before we head out, let's grab some food for the road. We'll take maybe this bowl of soup. And let's fill up our water. Oh, we need a sink too. So let's grab... Or fill that up. Let's grab our wrench from our car tools over here. And let's go grab a, a, a sink. Man, it is so foggy out though. Look at that. We're gonna be pretty careful. Not sure where the best um, place to go will be. Uh, we do have a sink in the carrot shack there but I think we will keep that there because we'll eventually at some point we'll put a uh, a um, rainbow collector up there okay so we got a few actually quite a few in that yard let's go down to another house another yard here uh, we did have the alarm in the last episode so we will have to be pretty careful going into the gated community. But with all this fog, 
that will help us avoid detection. So we should take advantage of this. I do hear a zombie somewhere. Oh, this might be the house with the um, zombie out of the stairs. Just gonna pick that broken glass up. Move that broken glass. Just wait a moment, see if anyone comes out from that noise. Yeah, I think this is must be the house with the zombie out of the stairs. Let's grab this sink. Twenty-five percent chance to break. Did we get it on our first try? Doesn't look like it. All right, no, no luck there. Let's try this sink in here. Industrial sink. And we did get that one. All right, good. Secondary, we'll put this inside. And since that's the only zombie in here, we might as well do some uh, dismantling of fixtures. Got a TV in here, let's do that. Uh, we're actually, believe it or not, getting a little low on light bulbs back home. So it would be good to uh, collect some more. Some more. And I might actually take this fancy blue rug to start picking up some more decorations for the house. Alright, let's throw all this into the bag. And we might drop our bag on the ground here. Just to lighten the load. Uh, let's close this. cans we can get rid of. Alright, let's start dismantling. Looks like we've already pulled the water from these. So we'll disassemble this stuff. And we'll watch this increase. Work our way towards level 3. the washer and dryer in here. Let's do those. So we're at 17.5. Let's see what we get for a, a large appliance. 30. Oh, so 12 and a half. That must be similar to what a tub is. And we can come back for all these uh, metal pieces. We don't have to take them today. Oh, and the fog has left it outside. So be a little bit careful when we go out. Oh, I hear someone. Must be the ones next door. So yeah, we got some scrap electronics and scrap metal. Get the bathrooms up here. Oh, we got a lamp here as well. It's gonna be mostly just disassembling stuff today, I think. All 
All right, um, let's wash ourselves. Let's wash. Oh, we're not that bloody, really. Let's just fill up our water bottles. There we go, and we'll disassemble this. Yeah, and we're actually getting some parts here. A couple of middle pipes. Disassemble the toilet. We'll just speed through these. Uh, the bathtub, this is should be similar to what the uh, appliances were. So we're at 92.5. Let's see if this is 12 and a half as well. So 92.5. Oh, that's actually a little bit more. Quite a bit more, actually. Okay, so no bathtubs. The best. Uh, we should be able to disassemble these. Is this metalworking? Let's pull that off. Carpentry. Let's disassemble these. So, 117. And that gets us up to 130, so that's 12 and a half. So same as the appliances downstairs. All right, we're a bit hungry. Let's have our soup. Yeah, we'll get level three for sure today, though. We're going pretty fast through this stuff. Is this carpentry? Oh, that's metal working. These probably won't be very much. So at 142 and a half. Yeah, so that's only about six XP there. So maybe we won't bother with those ones. Disassemble. Time for a smoke. Uh, disassemble this. All these light bulbs must have uh, burnt out because there's no option to remove them. And yeah, we'll come back through all these houses one more time to pick up uh, all the materials. Okay, let's grab bag so just from one house got almost 150 almost got halfway to our level now the alarm went off in one of the houses on the other side of the park down there so as long as we stay over here should be fine today Got that TV. There's the bathroom. Let's close this. Pick up this broken glass. And let's fill up our water bottles again. And disassemble this one. Oh, uh, we're going to put down our bag again here. Uh, next time, uh, I think we'll just come with out our backpack and just with uh, that big bag. And we will actually be able to take stuff with us. Assemble the sink and the oven, and the fridge. Once we take out these items, all right, cool. Up to 198.
So we're at 5.30 p.m. Uh, after this house, we might want to think about going home. So it doesn't get too dark out here. Let's head up to the bathrooms up here. Anything else we might want to disassemble? Like these cabinets. Alright, assemble that. Oh, he gave us the option for the toilet, so that must be the bathroom back there. And that's got some stuff in it. Okay, very close. Two 255. I think this bathroom should do it. Where is it? Oh, I don't know where the, uh, oh, here it is. Wasn't sure where that bathroom was. And disassemble this. Gotta be so close. 267. This tub should do it. Oh, so close. 298. I think I saw another bathroom here. There we go. Level 3. Okay, we'll, we'll finish this house up. We still have the boost. TV in here. Alright, and our electrical. Yeah, moving towards level four. Disassemble. Uh, yep, disassemble that. Alright, uh, let's get home and we'll pick up in the morning. And you know what? Maybe we'll do some mechanic work in the morning, so hang tight, we'll be back in a moment. And it's the next morning here. Got everything dropped off at the night, or during the night. I also transferred a couple of our dishes from the freezer over to the, uh, the fridge here. So we'll be able to eat those. Still haven't quite got to 75 yet. Um, while I was coming back to base, though, I did notice that there is one crop ready to harvest here. Our tomato. So let's go ahead and harvest this. Uh, we should be getting pretty close yet yeah, to uh, level 5 farming. Maybe one or two more harvests. Uh, we'll go ahead and plant some potatoes here. Not sure if I have any water. Don't. That's empty, but we can fill that up at the uh, rainbow collector out here. So let's do that. So our watering can. And our compost bin is uh, coming along nicely. We got up to 16% uh, here, so we could, uh, with a uh, sack, get some fertilizer and start fertilizing some crops. Uh, and that's the rest of what we got in here right now. Let's put our tomato seeds away. And we only have six potato seeds there, so off to open another one here. We only have one packet, so we might want to start waiting for potatoes to get to seed bearing. Before we harvest. And did I hear someone? Or is that just in the music? Yeah, it sounded like there was a zombie out here. Alright, well, let's just uh, put our watering can down. Might take a quick look around the backyard here. Uh, tomato seeds and potato seeds are put away. Let's go put these tomatoes in the freezer. Uh, we might have to start jarring soon because this one is going to be full after these tomatoes 
Starting on this side. We don't have any jars, though. We have one jar. <laughs> one jar and one lid. So if we find more jars, we'll be picking them up from now on, I think. Uh, let's go equip that secondary. Uh, I got a bowl here, put away. And we're going to get to some mechanic work. But first, let's take a quick look around the backyard. Just make sure there wasn't someone out here. So I thought I heard a noise. Although if they were close enough, you'd think they'd be attracted to the generator. Come right into the yard. No? Looks like we're fine. Since we're out here, let's take a look at the carrots. Oh, our strawberries. Doing good here. Young strawberries. Still says... Oh, that's dry. Oh, we're out of water, though. Um... There might be some water in the sink still. Or the toilet. Yeah. Let's just water these. And since we have more water now, we might as well plant that last spot. Uh, maybe we will do some radishes since we have so many carrots right now. So radishes. Average water of 45.85, 16 days to grow. So, next to cabbages, this is one of the faster ones. <laughs> Our girlfriend's apparently watching something pretty funny. <laughs> uh, okay, thirsty. Let's go 10. Fine. Fine, fine. Try. Thirsty. Well, that's all the water I got right now. Put that down. Put our seeds away. Cool. Don't think we're gonna be doing any more metalworking today? Oh, possibly. Uh, we're gonna work towards some more mechanic though. And we will have to go back and get the uh, ambulance at some point. Uh, we could just take a tire from one of these. You know what? We could even do that today. Uh, let's take this tire off. We could take this one with us. And maybe before we get too far into things, let's go retrieve that ambulance right now. Uh, yeah, let's um, let's go. Just put these things away so we can run without a heavy load, and we'll go for a sprint. Speaking of sprinting, slowly working towards level 6. We got that 125% boost. That is going to help us get there a little bit faster. So we'll see how much we uh, end up with XP wise running up there. So we're starting at around 399. Let's see what we end up with by the time we get up to the ambulance. Uh, there are a fair number of zombies out here on the road. Maybe next episode we'll spend some time just uh, moving up the main street again and clearing out zombies. Do some crowd control. All right, we're moderate exertion. Up to 404 for XP, so not a lot, but some gains. And I think we want to go down here. So let's close that. Yep, 
Yeah, it was just over here. So let's sneak. I think it was over here, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm going to go around to where I can see better. Got a police officer, it looks like. Let's go with the hammer. Maybe we should fill up our water and rest. Oh, Jesus. I don't know how they got in there. See how we're attacking quite slow right now. Could just be because it's the hammer. Oh, we got another one coming. Uh, let's switch out to the baton. He's definitely. Oh, there you go. Now he's speeding up. He was very slow though for a bit though. Uh, let's hop into this house. Oh, I didn't kill him. Oh, great. That's done. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't think we can repair that baton. I don't think those are repairable. That nightstick. So, let's fill up our water. And, let's rest. I think we rest on the couch, it'll be a little bit faster than just sitting on the floor. Oh, and we're hungry. Alright, let's wait for this exhaustion to go down. I think we took all the food from here. Okay, let's, uh, before we get too much hungrier, let's go take care of this uh, ambulance repair. So it's on this um, pathway down here. That's where we left it. a lot of trees, which makes it hard to tell how many zombies are down there, if any. Looks like we're okay. Yeah. Alright, so. Let's unpack this. Unpack those. Oh, and I hear a zombie. Hold on. It's not over here. Could be behind. Could be in the parking lot there too. Oh, maybe we're all right then. back open. I can hear him. Alright, let's do this quickly. There we go. Okay. Uh, since we're down here, we might as well check a few homes, though. Ambulance is ready to go. Uh, let's get our hammer back out. Let's put these tools away. I uh, wouldn't mind getting more... Canned corned beef and uh, sardines and tuna, that kind of stuff. 
bolognese for our cooking dishes. Oh, we got a bleach victim here. Oh, quite a few books here. Uh, anything that we need. Let's dismantle that. Let's just check rooms first. Alright, we're clear. Uh, you know what? Let's just close these curtains. Since we'll probably be in here a bit, we might as well dismantle stuff. Just give us a little bit of privacy. Alright, let's open up our notebook. And so we've got trapping, first aid, foraging. First aid, we need intermediate and master, so we're fine there. Trapping. We need advanced. Okay, so that's one. Let's clear that off. And foraging expert. Ah, we need that one. Perfect. Okay, so we have completed our foraging library. Completed. Let's do that. And what did I say for first aid? Expert. Okay, we're fine there. Hunter, we've read. And some more over here. Advanced trapping. We are good. Expert metalworking. I think we got all our metalworking ones. Yeah, complete. Hunter, we've read. Okay, let's disassemble this TV. materials. Uh, I have a lot of batteries, so I'm going to leave those. Save the space. That's empty. Nothing else in there. Okay, good on our notebook for now. Another meat cleaver. Uh, let's go ahead and equip this to our belt. And I've been wondering... Um, the animation for eating food out of a bowl is just putting it up to your face. If you have a spoon or a fork, will they use that? Let's take a couple home. We'll test that out. Garbage bag, nice. Frying pan, we got a few of those. Take the corn for the compost bin. Take the cold pack for a smoke bomb if you ever want to make those. Painkillers. Okay, let's do some more disassembly here. And let's just put down our bag. Grab our torch and mask. I mean, since we're here, we might as well. Yeah, it's 3.10 p.m. So we do have some time. Thought we were going to be done metalworking for this episode, but... Since we're here... And alright, let's have a smoke. Okay, did we get 75 yet? No, we haven't. We're still at 74. Ah, uh, the small stuff we can take. Oh, yeah, we got the sink here. Let's do that. And that's it for this building. Alright, so let's get our map out. Let's mark this one off. Okay, I think I know where we are on the map. So, we're down here. And I think we're in this house right now. So we have searched that. 
Let's get our bag. And what we could do, let's leave that open, is drop our backpack off in the ambulance and just run around with our large backpack. I think we will do that. There's nothing really in our backpack we need except for cigarettes for the time being. Oh, we are getting quite hungry now. Uh, was there any food that we picked up? No. Not yet. Okay, let's check this one. At least it's pretty quiet over here. Hopefully we don't have an alarm, though. That's the one thing. That could derail our plans quite quickly. And expert trapping, was that one? Can't remember now. Oh, well that's one thing we did put away, is our notebook. Couple belts, uh, let's disassemble this. TV. Uh, what else we got here? Actually, let's get our cleaver out. Uh, we could probably slice this up, and if we slice this up, would we still be able to compost it? Probably. Should weigh a bit less. Let's see. Each weigh point three. I don't know, it actually it still weighs the same. Alright, I'm not gonna eh. How much room do we got? Alright, let's take it. Dog food salt. Alright. Alright, so a few things in there to dismantle. Oh, we got a body in here. Oh, a couple rifles. Actually, a few rifles. Alright. So our first rifles. So do both of these have clips or magazines? Contains magazine, contains magazine. Alright, well, and they both have 8x scope. So let's take this one. Then we'll just take the uh, magazine out of this. Nice. All right, let's put that one down. Take those bullets. Let's drop that. Move that over. Nice, that's a good find. Wasn't expecting that. All right, let's close that. We will fill up our water and disassemble. And we'll take a look at our middle working here in a second. Let's see how far we've gotten to level four. Uh, not very far, 148. Still more stuff to do. And thankfully this doesn't take up any uh, fuel from our propane torch. All right, we'll take the small ones. And if I pick this up, then we should be able to dismantle it in our inventory, right? So I didn't see an option. Oh, 
I didn't see an option while it was on the counter. Oh, whoa, 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 where are you going? Just do that here. Oh, no, there to go. All right, 750. Uh, maybe one more house, and then we head home. Uh, we don't have any good food, though, to eat yet. And we'll be able to mark this house off. Actually, this almost this whole block we can mark off. Oh, we got two here. All right, let's take them out to the street. Haven't used a cleaver in a while. This guy to come to us. Oh, and it's a crawler. Right, let's back off again. We're quite tired, so this is taking quite a bit of effort. this one quickly and then get out of here. Let's see if we can get a window open. Yeah, very tired. And we'll close the curtains as well. Some more magazines here, which we have all read. And more stuff here, that which we have either read or we have. Some glue. Got a lamp there to assemble. Got some video games here. And headphones. Nothing back there. Hopefully there's some food in here. Cigarettes. Oh, we do need more bowls. Uh, cooking pot. Popcorn. I don't think we'll be eating that. Tweezers. Okay, well, let's just uh, disassemble this stuff then. get home and at least we will have the ambulance back at base all right and in the oven and the fridge let's get this scrap Small middle sheet, yeah, we'll take that. And yeah, we're pretty full here, so. This will be a good time to go home. Bunch of pipes there, a bit too heavy for our inventory. Uh, looks like this one does have a light bulb, so we'll take that out. Okay. Let's get to the car. Ooh, there's a shed there, though. Sneak up to it. Maybe there's another generator in here. Or a gas can. Locked up. Uh, we got one zombie in there. I'm pretty tired, though. Could be a struggle to kill them. Oh, although if we can get the window open, we can just do the insta kill on the ground, right? There we go. 
in theory, you should be able to. Pipe. All right, nothing of use. Okay, let's get over to the ambulance. We are quite hungry. We can mark these houses off. There's this one left on the corner, but the rest are cleared now. Let's just hop in. And we'll mark that now. Okay, so these two here. Oh. Well, let's go. <laughs> and let's not blow another tire. We'll mark that later. No headlights. All right, let's get back home. I'll mark that on the map uh, once we're in the safety of our four walls. Where's the turn off? There we go. And we'll take the next right. It's a pretty dark night. Let's careful not to tip this. our turn off right there. Oh my god, it's so dark. Uh, I'll park that in the morning. Properly. It's just very dark right now. Oh, it looks like this light bulb has burned out. Has it? Oh no, our generator went off. Ooh. Is this stuff still frozen? It is. First time we ran out of gas. Must have just happened. All right, let's add fuel. Now we'll grab another one. I think one full gas can gives you 80%, yeah. Uh, so let's add the rest of this. Turn that on. We'll have to go turn on all our lights again. Let's add a light bulb here. You can add different color light bulbs, if that's your thing. Oh, actually, no, all the lights are on. Okay. Uh, so, let's see here. We need to install the sink, so let's do that. It's midnight. We'll install this and plumb it in in the morning. Uh, actually, we need the uh, wrench to put it in, so let's just eat something. You know what? I'm going to eat this whole stir fry. Hopefully that uh, pushes us over to 75 on our weight. Oh, not at all. Not even. Okay, well, we're too full to continue eating, so... We're just gonna have to get to bed here. And we'll finish off in the morning. Alright, let's get this thing finished here. Let's go grab our wrench again. We'll get this sink put in. And I got some more stuff to drop off, but I think that's a pretty eventful and full episode. All right, so let's put this right here. Uh, I guess it's gotta face this way. So we'll put it in. And we will plumb it in. And now we should we should have fresh water. 
Let's see if I have an empty bottle somewhere. I don't, but we could drink this. Just so we can test this out, make sure it's working correctly. All right, let's fill up our empty pop bottle. And yeah, there you go. Empty pop bottle, clean water. We have clean water, April 23rd. We have our washer and dryer. We got a pretty good kitchen setup going here. A couple of freezers, a, a nice big fridge, an oven, microwave. Not much else we would want in there. Uh, maybe some floating cabinets. Uh, we got a couple spaces uh, for those. We could replace these shelves with a floating cabinet here. Uh, maybe even these these two here, and then one over here. I think that's probably the only other additions I'd like to do in the uh, kitchen. Uh, let me know what you think. What did you? Uh, what was your favorite part of today's episode? Uh, we got some good progress going here on our electrical and metalworking level four. I'm sure we'll be there pretty soon. And I will continue to do some more mechanic work here, try and get level four as well. Thanks all for watching, guys. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later.